Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my own nails and I'm just going to be infilling these. I've filed most of the stuff down. I've dehydrated and I'm just going to now go in and prime them. And I'm going to do an infill and I'm hoping that this is just what I can do from now on so I don't have to do full removals because it's the removal that I just can't be doing with it. It literally takes me hours and hours to remove my nails. Ah. So if I do sound a little bit <coughs> unwell, it's because I am. But it's all good. So I have just recently got engaged and this is my engagement ring so i thought i would try and do sort of like some amethyst style nails first thing i'm going to do is just infill just with a little bit of clear just so that i can then file back so that's my first job i'm not sure how well this is going to be in oh sorry about the sun you guys I've taken this a bit too thick to be honest with you guys like these could just be painted now but I don't have like maybe I'll just paint them actually I think that might be easy to just paint them So I've changed my mind. I was going to do an acrylic colour on them. I'm just going to paint them now. So I'm just going to make them a bit stronger with this clear acrylic. I haven't filed them down enough really to do. Next time I'll file them down more so that I can do more of like an acrylic design.
Right, so once they're dry, I'm going to file them over. Right, so I have filed them and I'm now going to go in and pin them. Now, I found this, which is actually a really nice purple. It's quite similar to that purple. I really like that. And I've got a white because I want to try to do a bit of a marble. And then I've got this, which is like, it's like a cleary pink. So I'm thinking if I try and marble all three of them, that might look pretty cool then I was thinking I have this nail varnish I was thinking about just doing like maybe ring finger in like a glitter I don't know because obviously that will take I'll have to wait for that to dry but we'll see let's just see what this purple looks like This is a nice purple. The only problem with these is they're not very dark, which means when marbling it's difficult because you don't really do more than one coat of marble. But then I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be opaque enough. And then you end up getting them really thick as well, like the gel really thick. And this white is probably the worst one for it actually, which I totally forgot about. That's quite cute actually. I might do like that two marble and then like one of full purple because I think that'll look really nice because that purple is really cute. So I'm going to cure that. Okay I'm going to do this one of full purple and then I might put like a glitter fade over the top of it because then I can just cure it straight away as well. My nails are going to look well different now. T totally opposite hands. Wow, this purple is actually really, really nice. Right, this time I'm gonna try doing it with this pink instead of the white and just see what it's like. But the whole idea is to have more purple. Then, and just have a little bit of like marble, kind of like how Amethyst would be. 
or it might just have like a little bit of something running through it. I think you can really see it, can you? Damn. And I might just put a really little bit of white. Get away from my legs, you. look quite cute but let's just put a little bit of white in Hey, that looks quite amethysty, although you probably can't see it in a minute on camera, but I'll show you better later. So this is the nail varnish that I've got. It is a bourgeois one. And I'm going to try... That looks cute, I like that. You've got to remember when you're working with nail varnish that it's going to dry really quickly. So we're going to do the same. <coughs> same on the thumb. that's that one so now I'm just going to do the last marble I think I'm going to add more white to this one just so it kind of matches that one although I do really like that it's got like a snake effect I don't think you can see it on camera though <gasps>
I'm gonna cure that. So I'm now just gonna top coat using my Kiara Sky and No Wipe top coat. You need to really make sure that you get the one with the nail varnish on really covered otherwise it will crinkle and go weird so this is the finished result hopefully you can see them and I'm really really pleased with them they're nice and amethysty to go with my beautiful ring I think I've got the hang of the camera a bit more now as well and obviously that one's just the same as the ring so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give me a thumbs up let me know if you enjoy seeing me do my own nails because that is something I'm thinking about just doing more of especially now that I might just be able to infill them and I could do something different on this hand let me know what you guys think I love you so so much and I'll see you in the next video bye